everyone, my name is Kirutiga and today I'm going to present about the Pharma Niaga Berhad Company. Pharma Niaga Berhad Company began as a Remedy Pharmaceutical in 1994. The company was renamed in August 1998. Pharma Niaga was the first healthcare company to be listed on the Kuala Lumpur Stock Exchange main market and the, one of the company for investment and member of Boston Group. The company's primary activities including generic pharmaceutical manufacturing, logistic and distribution, sales marketing and the supply of medical products and services. The company was divided into two segments which are logistic and distribution and manufacturing. In Malaysia and Indonesia, the logistic and distribution segments are involved in distribution, trading, manufacturing and supply and installation of medical and hospital equipment. Pharma Niaga Company's vision is the preferred pharmaceutical brand in the region market to ensuring the accessibility and affordability of quality healthcare to the consumer. And the mission of the Pharma Niaga Berhad is to provide quality product and superior services by professional, committed and caring employees to ensuring steadfast and stable delivery of quality pharmaceutical products and accessible service to everyone. The objective of Pharma Niaga Berha is to ensuring the accessibility and affordability of quality of healthcare. The second one is about extending the, extending the reach of our success to positively affect the society. Third one is about creating a positive and safe work environment for our employees. Fourth is the elevating the lives of those undeserved in the company. Hello, my name is Jen Deming and Matthew number is 262580. I will be there about the company issues. There are some company issues faced by Pharma Niaga Berhad. First is the opportunity to distribute COVID-19 vaccine in Malaysia. Pharma Niaga has several advantages such as having experience in producing injectable products in ambulance and was which allow it to as a distributor for COVID-19 vaccine in Malaysia. Besides, Pharma Niaga Berhad also expanding new logistic channel. Pharma Niaga Berhad involved in a project called as Eagle Project, which using loans for the medical delivery service. This project will improve logistic capability and create more convenient to the medical service. My name is Joanna Tan Huying and my metric number is 261683. The third company issue is increased occupational health and safety injuries. In 2020, despite its good performance in controlling the spread of COVID-19 pandemic in the workplace, the total number of occupational health and safety injuries increased compared to 2019. Based on its sustainability report 2020, it shows that the accident rate, frequency rate and lost time injury frequency rate had increased from 2019 to 2020. Next, the fourth company issue is increased water withdrawals and water intensity. In recent years, the problem of water shortage has become increasingly serious due to the lack of effective management. Pharma Niaga Berhad has implemented a series of water resource management to address this issue. Although Pharma Niaga implements a series of water management, the water consumption and water consumption intensity had increased from 2019 to 2020. The fifth issue is the insufficient time for employees' training. Pharma Niaga Berhad increases productivity and improves group performance by developing appropriate training and development programs for them. Although Pharma Niaga has invested about 1 million in employee training and development programs, the training hours in 2020 is still low compared to 2019. There was a decline of total training hours in 2020 as the COVID-19 pandemic restricting the development of training programs, especially face-to-face -face training sessions. Good day, my name is Ng Yixian. Now I will present about the SWOT analysis of Pharma Niaga Berhad. First of all, let us start with internal factor analysis summary model. Firstly, the strength of Pharma Niaga is having the integration of many subsidiaries company. The weighted score for this strength is only 0.15 which is the lowest. Next, Pharma Niaga is also having strong organizational culture and leadership. The weighted score for this strength is ranked at the second higher which is 0.50. In addition, 
Pharma Niaga is having the outstandings of products quality. The weighted score for this strength is, higher, is the highest which is 0 0.75 which shows that the outstanding of products quality is the key success of Pharma Niaga. Moreover, the strength of Pharma Niaga is they are focusing on Hala pharmaceutical market. The weighted score for this is the third higher which is 0 0.41. Lastly, Pharma Niaga also having the diversification of products and services. This strength is weighted at 0 0.16 which is the second lowest. For the weaknesses, Pharma Niaga is having low flexibility of workplace environment, low security intensity in the work environment, lack of internal control and internal communication, higher maintenance costs and insufficient training of employees. Their respective weighted score is 0 0.20, 0 0.18, 0 0.20, 0 0.31 and 0 0.24. Next, let us move to the external factor analysis summary model. First, the opportunity for Pharma Niaga is set up new distribution channel. The weighted score is 0 0.45, which is the third high year. In addition, Pharma Niaga also can expand new logistic channels. Its weighted score is 0 0.42, which is at the fourth place. Moreover, Pharma Niaga is having the opportunity to move toward HALA vaccine manufacturing and product development. It has the highest weighted score for this opportunity, which is 0 0.75. Furthermore, Pharma Niaga also can expand into new geographic market. It has a weighted score of 0 0.48, which is the second higher. Lastly, Pharma Niaga also can utilize existing technological skills. However, it has a lowest weighted score for this opportunity, which is 0 0.15. For the traits of Pharma Niaga, the company has a large number of competitors, price of medicine controlled by the government, water scarcity issues, costly new regulatory requirements, and buying attitude and purchasing power of customers. Their respective weighted score are 0 0.33, 0 0.23, 0 0.07, 0 0.05, and 0 0.14. That's all from me. Thank you. My name is Nurhanis Binti Muhammad Rosli and I will present for our toast analysis. The first strength opportunity strategy, uh, Pharma Niaga Berhad can use new distribution to many subsidiaries companies. And the second one is uh, Pharma Niaga Berhad can focus on halal pharmaceutical market by utilizing existing technological skills. The second is strength and trades analysis. Uh, Pharma Niaga Berhad can outperform the quality of product to reduce in competing with the competitors. The second one is uh, Pharma Niaga Berhad can provide the diversification of products and services to satisfy customer needs. For the witness and opportunities analysis, the first one is by expanding new, new geographic markets, Pharma Niaga Berhad can increase the flexibility of workplace environment. The second one is Pharma Niaga Berhad can develop halal vaccines manufacturing facility and product and the product can increase the profit to overcome the higher maintenance costs. The last one is witness and trades analysis. The first one is Pharma Niaga Berhad can increase the company's competitive advantage to reduce competitors by enhancing employee training and increasing the safety intensity of workplace. The second one is Pharma Niaga Berhad can strengthen the employee's training to give the best services to the customers. Hi everyone, my name is Chang Mei Teng, metric number 262450. Now I will continue to present about the recommendation of Pharma Niaga Berhad current issue. For the first strategy issue, which is opportunity to distribute COVID-19 vaccine in Malaysia. The proper strategy is product development strategy. Pharma Negro Berhad can expanding the range of product and service provided to existing market or new market. Pharma Negro Berhad can accelerate the growth of its vaccine manufacturing business by launching a halal vaccine project. This will allow Pharma Negro Berhad to build the world's first halal vaccine facility. The halal vaccine also can supply to other countries, which will create a new revenue stream for the group. After that, for the second strategy issue, which is expanding new logistic channel, the proposed strategy is logistic strategy. Pharma Negro Berhad can improve its logistic efficiency and gain a competitive advantage by implementing new transportation. Eager Project is a plan that can effectively 
improve transportation efficiency and reduce transportation risk because the fit, the speed and efficiency of drone delivery service are predict to predicted to be five times that of traditional transportation method. Using using drone to carry pharmaceutical can drastically cut the time necessary for the transportation process and increase the supply chain efficiency. Because Eagle project is currently only in the first phase of proof of concept project, so Pharma Niagara Berhad can continue to undertake test flight in various places and terrain. After that, record all test results and forward to relevant government department and agency for future reference with the goal of putting this plan into action as soon as possible. That's all from me. My name is Chai Kok Chan, metric number 262439. The third current issues of Pharma Niagara are increased occupational health and safety injuries. The proposed strategy are Human Resource Management HRM strategy. Pharma Niagara can expand its occupational health and safety training programs in order to decrease avoidable workplace safety occurrence and raise up the employee's understanding of workplace safety procedures. Next, the increased water withdrawals and water intensities are also one of the current issues of Farmer Niagara's Berhad. The proposed strategy are research and development R&D strategy. For example, to installing a rainwater harvesting system and keep an eye on the development of the water recycling projects at Bangi and Puchong plants. Lastly, the insufficient time for employees training is one of the current issues in Farmer Niagara Berhad. The proposed strategies is Human Resource Management HRM strategy. For example, to increase employee training programs and use social media platforms such as Facebook and Instagram Live to conduct online training programs. That's all from our group. Thank you.